Hi guys. Paul here. BA Brew News. Got to do a beer from Stone Brewing Company, Escondido, California. This is their Moje IPA or Moje Morjai. Moje IPA. And let's see what it says right here. It comes in at 7.6 alcohol by volume. It says East meets West in a haze of juicy hops. So there we go. It says Corey Mangers and Elizabeth Bacchus Virgin Beer Company. So I don't know if this is a giant collaboration or something because Stone, Corey Majors, and Elizabeth Bacchus, Bacchus, and then Virgin Bur uh, Beer Company. Right underneath there. And it says brewed and bottled by Stone Brewing Company, Escondido, California, and Richmond, Virginia, made in the U.S. of the A, independently craft brewed, blah, blah, blah. They own a hotel and theme park. Just put a bunch of food together. Nose is itching. There's a little pepperiness to that. There we go. Just got uh, picked this up at the store just now, about maybe a half an hour ago. And it's nice and warm now because it was between my legs the whole time. <laughs> Trying to warm it up. And it did a pretty good, pretty good job. What's up, Brother Kent? Good old Craig. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm telling you what. I'm just pouring this thing and I can smell it. It says Best Buy 11819, so this is still fresh. Okay, up to the light. We got some particleization giving a haze. Not haze for days, but haze for at least a few hours. 7.6 alcohol by volume. Sticking along on the on the side of the glasses, rode around. A little protein's trying to stick now again. Big fluffy white head on that one. Let's get some proper aromas. Mm. Wow. Um, white grapes. Pepperiness, tangerine, orange peel, mango, grapefruit. White peppers, white pepper, no, <laughs> white pepper, not white peppers, white pepper. <sighs> Nectarine, holy shit. Vanilla. Confectionery sugar sweetness. <sighs> nice bright peppery. Oh wow, okay, <laughs> this smells pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. All right, let's get into it. Cheers. Tastes pretty damn good, too. I'll just say all that right now. I'm getting wafted and bombarded with layers of rich, sweet, creamy vanilla, confectionery sugar sweetness, a bit of caramel, a hint of brightness, just layers upon that, layers and layers. And on top of that, I'm getting whammed with peaches, apricot, tangerine, grapefruit, orange peel. Just different, what was one goes out, one comes in, one goes out, one that's like, oh, wow, okay, that was really nice. It reminds me of a kicked up version of their Tangerine Express. The tangerine peel and, and uh, vanilla that I really, really liked. This is a kicked up version of that. It's more creamy, more vanilla forward. Then you have more fruits on top of that. The tangerines, nectarines, mango, peach. They're coming in and out. They're not all perfectly defined, but they're in there. There's nuances in there playing back and forth. Wow. I can only imagine if this was more fruit forward, more hazy, more pithy. Wow. You'd be looking at 10 out of 10 quality if this was a little bit bigger, a little bit bolder. Holy crap. Ah. 
hashtag Moje IPA. Wow. I love the pepperiness, white pepper, and just earthy pepperiness. Little hint of a, a pine way in the back, little earthy nuances too, but very muted. Just hints of it covered with that blanket of the sweetness. And of course, on top of that, those oils from those hops are just pounding your palate up, just wafting and wafting and wafting. Beautiful little hazy IPA, absolutely beautiful. Mm, wow. I'm not going to read anything on the back because I know it's just demagoguery and just waffling, so we're not going to do that. East meets west in a haze of juicy hops. There is a little bit of pine in the background, tangerine, grapefruit, in your face, definitely West Coast styles. But then you get all those nice apricots, mangoes, peaches, those tones with all that nice little confectionery sugar sweetness, bit of vanilla in there too, mixing it with that caramel back, ready back. It's, it is a beautiful blend of, of East meets West, for sure. This is an as advertised beer. Yes, it could be bigger. Yes, it could be bolder. Yes, it could be hazier. But it's still damn fine. Look at that. It just got even hazier. Wow. Sharp, sharp tangerine in that one. Sharp tangerine. Sharp clementine. With that, still that nice bready caramel vanilla confectionery sugar back. Mm, the oils that's really still real bitey, playing around on your palate, drying it out just a little bit while all that residual sweetness kind of sits there so it keeps playing on each other, balancing really well extremely extremely fun to drink I don't know how much I can drink of this as far as again and again and again bottle by bottle by bottle so I'm actually happy it's coming in this this kind of a size but as a big old treat beer <clears throat> excuse me I'm loving it let's put the rest in put the rest of that unfiltered hoppy goodness in there. Just watching it get cloudier and cloudier and cloudier as it goes. Mm. Yep. Tasty delicious. A lot of pepperiness. White pepper. And then, of course, all that fruit. All that fruit. Tangerine, clementine, orange. Orange peel, not piffy. It's not blood orange sweetness. It's more piffy. Piffy, rind, apricot, mango. And then of course, underneath that is that blanket of, of haze. It's nice confectionery sugar and vanilla sweetness. Saying the same things over and over again. Just wanted to get the whole bottle in the glass. I'm gonna give it a big old nine out of 10. Definitely good. There's probably, and I mean, there's better versions of a hazy IPA out there, but this one is hitting all the nails on the head as far as that goes. Way above solid, extremely enjoyable. Check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. Mm. Fun time. 7.6 alcohol by volume. Common be right down. About ready to go to bed. Got work tonight, so not happy about that. But this was a beautiful little drink. This one, Paul from Pay Brew News. 9 out of 10 for the Moje IPA from Stone Brewing Company, Escondido, in Richmond, Virginia. Cheers. Bye bye. Watch that finger.